Hello everyone, I'm Rasha Hacks and in this video, we will talk about intercepting web traffic. Basically, we will talk about intercepting a website's traffic via Burp Suite. In your network, when you browse a website or when you open an application, so many requests and responses are going through your network, right? So we will just intercept all of those requests and responses. And this video is all about how you can change your proxy settings in the browser and your proxy settings in the Burp Suite and what is proxy and how you can do it with an extension called foxy proxy so this video is all about how you can download these things and set it up so that you can intercept website traffic but in order to do this interception you have to uh, do some things right so first we will talk about those things and then we will do the interception but first let me get on to the basics the theory part first so uh, let's talk about what is proxy server okay like what is proxy server okay so proxy server is nothing but uh, assume that uh, here you are okay it's a computer right here and this is a server okay it's a uh, assume that it's a site on the cloud okay uh, let's name it as uh, rashahacks.com uh, you browse some site okay uh, you browse not some site but rashahacks.com and uh, when you browse rashahacks.com then you just enter url https colon the uh, slash slash www.rashahex.com you hit enter and then rashahex.com the server will give you a html page in the response right so you will just uh, make a request here the cloud server will give you a response okay right site is hosted on amazon aws so you will get the response from aws in back now uh the, it's not this is not proxy server but what is proxy server is let me explain now proxy server is this basically this is client and this is server now you uh between client and server you take one node it's not a man but it's a software or a computer in between a node in between the client and server which can see everything that is going uh that is uh, coming in from the client and going to the server and then coming back from the server and going to the client that everything that will uh, go from here to here and here to here the proxy this proxy server knows right so this is the concept of proxy server that everything uh, that is uh, going from client to the server and coming back from server to the client proxy server can see all those requests and responses that are going through the network so now how Bob suit works is like uh, this is you your computer okay this is your computer you are visiting some site here it's a server here and now you uh, want to intercept the traffic between of of all the requests and responses you are uh, making to google.com right so now what we will do is that generally we use a software called burp suit right so what burp suit do is that it's it acts like a proxy server so this is burp suit here is your client which make which is making some request uh, to the server and now all of your requests to the server but in between bob suit can also see those requests and you know, it can also see the responses too so this is the concept of using a uh, bob suit it acts as a proxy server basically uh, so to intercept anything to intercept any kind of request and response you have to uh, act like a proxy server so that proxy server here is bob suit so now we will see all those settings that we have to do in the bob suit and in your browser powering on my bob suit and it is community edition so yeah i will just open a temporary project here so yeah now we have the browser also open and we have the bob suit also open. so you can see an option here clearly as proxy let me go to user options display and increase the font size to make it uh, look more clear okay so now i think it is uh, clearly visible here proxy let's make it uh, ad so now here uh, proxy is visible right you just have to click on proxy currently intercept is on by default when you will turn on bob suit uh, the interceptor will be on right you have to first turn it off go to your options first okay in your options see an interface okay in the interface this 127.0.0.1 is your local host basically okay it's your own computer so you want to intercept your own computer's traffic so that is 127.0.0.1 right now uh in case okay some people do android penetration testing okay or some people do ios penetration testing how do they do these things uh they basically have a different ip address on that phone 
okay or on the other device so you have to uh, use that ip address in the interface okay you will just click on add in this case you will not select loopback only okay because loopback only is for local host okay it's like uh, your own computer okay you have to select a specific address okay and uh, you will select uh, right now here all my addresses which are uh, on the network are visible here okay but you have to select uh, loopback only because right now we are doing it on our own computer right and you have to bind it to a port a particular port right so by default it is uh, when you will get uh, you will open it for the first time it is by default on a port 8080 right but uh, let's do it on 8081 okay you will just click on okay and it is on 127.0.0.1 8081 and 88 and both interfaces are on right so now if a browser okay here the server uh, this uh, proxy server uh, is listening on server 8080 and 8081 now you have to set the browser settings also on the same port okay so you can turn on any uh, one of the interface or uh, you can keep turning on both but uh, uh, like on the browser you cannot turn on both right so you have to turn on only one so let's do it on 8081 and the dashboard it will be visible here whatever you are starting and stopping it will be visible in this event log now we will go to firefox and uh, in order to change the settings here you have to go to settings in the settings search for proxy in the network settings you can change those proxy settings here okay uh, you can see here it is currently set as as no proxy or maybe it will be in your system as auto detect proxy settings for this network okay here you have to change it to the manual proxy configuration okay you will change it to manual proxy configuration and then you will select the same ip address that uh, you have in the bob suit b127.0.0.1 and in that system it will be the same right and the port number uh, it needs to be the same as uh, which we were using for uh, bob suit so we were using the interface, uh, this interface, which is uh, at port 8081. So we will change this. Okay, we will do this at 8081, right? So now it is 8081, and also open this proxy for HTTPS so that you can intercept HTTP and HTTPS both traffics, right? So just click on OK. Now you have a browser, you have verb suit, both are set. Okay, now Bob Suite can listen on this port 8081 uh, for the local host traffic, and you are allowing browser to uh, just uh, throw the traffic. Okay, so now we have set the browser proxy, but there is one problem. If you just go to settings, and let me this thing at the right and take this thing at the left. Yeah. If you go at your uh, settings and if you turn uh, now right now your uh, options at this interface 8080 is set and uh, if you see here in the proxy i will show you this i have set at 8081 okay so now both the interfaces are not matching up okay or you can say uh suppose it is open at 8080 right and i close this uh bob suit okay so now Bob suit is uh, going through this proxy, but if I uh, enter some site, uh, it will not open, right? The proxy server is, re is refusing connections because it is not on, right? It, it's not switched on. So in the order to uh, change the proxies time to time, what you have to do is that uh, there is uh, like uh, you cannot uh, go to settings again and again and uh, click on the settings and go to no proxy and when you are doing uh, testing some site then you can change it to manual proxy and then uh, set uh, an ip address and the port right so uh, the another option is there is an extension that uh, can that is uh, foxy proxy and now uh, bob suit is not here so we have to turn off the proxy settings okay and let me go to proxy proxy yeah so uh just take this uh, basic or standard anyone both are fine right add to firefox click on add and allow this extension to run in private windows too because uh sometimes you have to do some testing there also in incognito windows so click on okay and now you have this uh, extension here Okay. Now what you have to do is in order to, uh, change those, uh, make those 
proxy options available here click on options click on add okay now name this uh, proxy setting as something like okay like uh, i name it uh, like this like if it's a, it is for bob suit then i will name it like this bob suit and then 8080 which means uh, it is for bob suit and uh, the port number where uh, both are both uh, browser and bob suit is serving is uh, 8080 right so i will just type the ip address here and the port number too click on uh, save and now you're uh, in your proxy proxy you have this option here bob suit 8080 right if you want if you want to add some another settings uh, right like uh, add uh, suppose uh, for Sox5 or Tor, right? Change the IP address here, change the proxy port number here, and you can do that too. Uh, generally, what I have is like I have a connection for Sox5, Tor, Burp, a Burp, uh, 8080, and Burp suit 8081, and I have three, four proxies like this uh, on my computer, right? So now, uh, if uh, let's see how we do it. Right now, your uh, this uh, proxy proxy is off, okay? Now, when you will turn off the Burp suit, we turn off the box suit and then uh now it is listening on port 8080 right but the browser settings are still not set okay if i go to settings it is at no proxy but now we will not change it this way we will change it uh, from the extension okay so i will go to google.com uh here it is not intercepting anything okay it is completely empty i will just change this to bob suit 8080 so now it is set on this port number 127.0.0.1.8080 and i will just refresh and all the requests are in the box suit so that's how foxy proxy works right but now there is one more thing that you have to set up so you have to download a certificate uh, in order to download that certificate just click on new tab type there http colon slash slash uh, forward slash two times and bob Okay, just enter this uh, URL. Hit enter and you will see this page. But you will see this page in only one condition when uh, your proxy settings for browser and the Bob suit both are set on the same port. Okay, so now uh, we have already set those things. So now you can see this, uh, you just have to enter this URL and you will see this page. There is this uh, section here for CA certificate. You just have to click once on it and you will download this certificate. Click on save file. Certificate is uh, downloaded here. Now what you have to do is just go back to your settings. You have already changed the proxy settings. Just go to certificate. Now search for certificate. Okay, here you can see all your certificates. Click on view certificates. Click on import. And import that certificate that you have downloaded uh, from uh, this uh, HTTP colon slash slash pro. Double click on it. Uh, this it will it is saying that the certificate is already installed as a certificate authority because I have already imported it. But uh, uh, that that's okay. Okay, you just have to import it like this and click on okay. That's it. Now your Bob suit is listening on port eighty eighty one. Let's visit some site. That was Google dot com. Let me make it uh, like this. The Bob suit here. Okay. Now you have uh, the browser on the left side. Bob suit on the right side. Let's go to intercept. Right now, interceptor is not on, but in the HTTP history, you can see everything that is going in and out, right? We have visited google.com, so it is here. Let's go to facebook.com. You can see that we are uh, every e each and every request that uh, uh, that is going through our network. It is visible on the in the Bob suit, right? You can click on this uh, request here, and you can see the request and the response both clearly here right uh, in the next videos we will play with these requests and the repeater and the intruder sections in the bob suit when we visit facebook.com there are so many responses that server throws on us so in order to intercept a particular for one request uh, a single request what we can do is that we can just click on intercept okay let's try to intercept uh, a username and password okay i will just enter russia hacks at the rate russiahacks.com and we will enter a password like one two three four five six seven eight and i will turn on the interceptor log in and you can see that we have host request here which is basically for uh, form data right and we have uh, the email here and we have the this is uh, encoded password okay we can see here enc pass so uh, it's an encoded form 
right? So this is a post uh, login request from facebook.com, right? So that's how you can intercept the traffic. Now, when your interceptor is on, after this request, all the requests, uh, all the other requests are uh, stopped at this uh, interceptor, right? When you will turn off the interceptor or just you will just click on this uh, forward button, okay? This request will go forward and then the other request will come in, okay? Uh, before, like after this only, uh, other requests can come in. So I will just click on forward, forward, and then you can see that uh, the server can give us some other, uh, uh, the next responses, right? Otherwise, uh, it, it was just stopped at this point because interceptor just, uh, uh, it will stop there and it will not uh, do anything till we don't forward that requ uh, request, right? So if I, uh, if I will just forward this also, okay, let me just visit for youtube.com. Okay. Uh, it, it, this is at the request from Mozilla, maybe some browser, uh, request. It is still at the Facebook request, Mozilla request, Google request, google.com, google.com, google.com. And now here is our get request from youtube.com, right? Uh, if you don't forward it, uh, it will be just stopped here. Right, we'll click on forward. We will see some things uh, in the browser after some time because there is uh, so many JavaScript and CSS that has to that have to be loaded. So all these requests are about those things. And now you can see some things visible on the browser. Right, if you just click on intercept is off, then uh, you are not intercepting a single single request. Right. Uh, now everything that you will do here, it will be visible in the HTTP history directly. So now everything is visible in the HTTP history. So this is all about how you can intercept your website's traffic. You just have to uh, focus on three, four things, changing your proxy settings in the browser and Bob should both downloading the CA certificate, importing the CA certificate, and then just uh, playing with the intercept and HTTP history options. That's it. That's all uh, what I have to show in this video. In the next video, we will talk about repeater and intruder. Subscribe to the channel for the notifications for the next video.